Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to show you how to make a uh, beef atari, that's the name we've given it. Uh, beef atari will use uh, the following. We have uh, onions, of course you'll dice them, make them ready. You'll, uh, you'll, you'll blend garlic and uh, uh, what do you call this? We will we'll, uh, blend uh, these two together, okay? Then we'll use red pepper, just one. Then we'll use parsley. I've never ever used parsley. This is the first time I've ever, I'll, uh, this will be my first time to use parsley. And of course, uh, tomatoes. We'll dice tomatoes. Then we will serve our beef with, uh, alongside uh, uh, collard greens. Okay, we'll fry this later. I'll show you how to do that. And uh, this is our beef. This is what we're going to use. And this is now where the secret is because this is farm red. Uh, beef. This is farm rare. This is organic. Okay. This uh, came straight from the farm courtesy of Benjamin Netanyahu. Thank you so much, Benja. All right. Now I'm about to start, and I'll show you how the process goes. So you'll boil you'll boil your beef for uh, roughly 45 minutes, and as uh, that happens, as your beef is boiling, you'll dice your tomato your tomatoes, and uh, you. Um, onions we are just doing what what we call preparation make sure everything is ready uh, before you start uh, frying okay remember we don't use oil we don't use any oil on uh, in our beef because it's normally has its own natural oil so we don't use uh, extra oil the, uh, we'll only use a little bit of oil when we are frying our color greens and you know color greens you don't fry it for a long time you don't you just use a uh, you just fry it for for like five minutes and that's it and uh as you fry it uh, i will use a uh, 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 virgin oil when uh frying our um, our color greens virgin oil is believed to be very uh very healthy uh also the, uh, the other thing we'll do as the our beef is boiling we will blend the we will blend uh, these two together. We'll take off the the skin and blend, put them in a blender. Okay, right. So I'll show you how. Uh, I'll show you what to do as we proceed. Please, uh, please remember to take off the the top skin uh, from your from your ginger root. Uh, before you blend it okay that's very important you don't want to uh, blend it to, uh, with this uh, top uh, skin okay then also with uh, make sure you you dice your your you take off the top skin from the from your garlic and dice it at uh, cut it into two before you put it in the blender okay all right all right now you've already diced your ginger you have already diced your your garlic uh, you've already chopped your parsley you put it in a in a blender cup so that's what i'm doing together with our uh, tomatoes that's what uh sophie told me okay now so together with uh with the tomatoes so we are about to make a a paste i think i want to call it a paste and that's what we'll use last and that's where now that's the secret for our for our recipe that's the secret for our meal i've never ever uh since i started cooking i've never ever uh blended uh tomatoes i've never ever used parsley and i've never used uh, uh i always use garlic all right now uh she asked me to even uh th there's an option you can either you can you can throw in the, the uh, onions but I like my onions fried, so I'll, I'll fry this with the meat before I, I put in our secret uh, concussion, okay? All right. All right, now we'll blend. Now that's ready for use, okay? Alright, that's ready for use. 
All right. Once, uh, once your water have uh, is evaporated from from your meat or from your beef, just uh, get a wooden spoon. It's, it's best. You get best results with a wooden with wooden spoon. Just keep turning it. Keep turning it. Now it's you're like frying. You're like frying your beef with nothing. No oil. Okay. Do not use oil, please. Just keep turning it. Keep turning it until it completely dries okay so just keep turning it keep turning it keep turning it and until you get the sizzling sound i call it the sound <laughs> and now you can even already start smelling your 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 meat oh my god it smells so good already now then add add some uh onion i want to Make sure I'm left with uh, some onion for the for my color greens, because I only I use only onions for the color greens, nothing else. So once you've added your onion, again you wanna keep turning. Give it time. Turn it for uh, for around five minutes, okay? A good five minutes, so that uh, you get the onion flavor into the into your meat. Oh my god, this thing is already smelling so good. Ah, oh my goodness. All right, now next is uh, it's time to add our secret, uh, you know, our secret concussion, the paste. Okay, and put the add some paste. Don't put so much, depending on the on how much um, how much meat you're making. So that's enough for me. That's enough. As a matter of fact, I'll use the rest in the color greens. Okay, that's enough. This paste is, oh, oh my God, oh my God, the smell. Mm, mm, mm. It already smells so good. It is healthy. It is tasty. Ah, the smell. Oh my goodness. Now, once you do that, you. You've mixed in your concussion, your secret uh, paste. Now, next, the next thing you want to do is get, add some salt. Don't put too much salt, okay? Just to test. Uh, I'm using, um, I'm using a regular salt, but I will not put so much. That's enough, okay? I'll add a little bit more. I don't like too much salt. Okay, then again, turn it a little bit. Now, at this point, all your meat is already coated in the um, in our in our paste. Remember? Now, this is what you do. Now, this is another secret. You remember when you are boiling the meat, you had some soup, some juice that you drained. Now you want to put it in just a little bit again. So that you get a, a, a little bit of of, um, of soup. Okay. In fact, I'll just put all of, all of it. Then cover your food. Cover your food and let it cook for uh, like um, uh, let it cook for like 15 minutes. Okay, so the idea the reason uh, the, uh, the real essence of covering your, your your meat is so that now all that secret concussion you put in you put in can now give six can now get into the meat and that's now where the uh, The flavor comes in. Okay, so I'll cover it and give it time. Meanwhile, I'll start preparing to do the color greens. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right, now we are about to fry our color greens, and this one is takes a very very short time. All right, well we use um, extra virgin uh, olive oil because it's healthy with the oil. So heat your oil, okay? Then what you are about to do next is once your oil is heated, you wanna put in your to uh, onions, and that's the only thing that gives your color greens. The flavor, oh my god, this thing is just so sweet. Only on nothing else, onion. That's all. That's it. Fry your onion. 
for a few, a few minutes. Okay. That's, this is the simplest, this is the simplest meal, meal to make. Then depending on the amount of, of color greens that you're frying, add salt, okay? Because you, you need some salt. So I'm looking at my color green and that's the amount of salt that I need, okay? And next is, of course your hands are clean and your color greens are, are ready to be fried. So put them in, put your color greens. Now you're frying it, okay? I'll put all of it. Put all of it, and now you want it to to fry good. So this is what you do. Okay, this is a technique. Okay, hold it with your hands, push it down in the pan, and just rotate it. Rotate. Make sure you don't burn yourself. Rotate it. Rotate it. So it goes down. Okay. As it keeps frying, it goes down. Then. Once you do that, now get get your um, wooden uh, uh, spoon and now fry the rest of fry it, fry it, turn it, turn it, turn it. And you don't want color greens to you don't want it to turn brown. You want to leave it green. That's when you get all the nutrients and you know the flavor too. You want it. You want to leave it green. Remember, we're not using onions, no, nothing else. Only uh, an onion, on, only an onion, sorry, no tomatoes. No tomatoes, nothing else. So oil, salt. Yeah. Can you imagine it's, it's, it's ready? It's as good as ready. Simple, very simple. Oh my God, this is so, 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 so. So delicious! If, oh my God! Now we serve this with our our beef stew. Remember the stew we made? Our secret with a secret uh, paste. Now you serve this with that um, with that uh, beef and something called ugali. Okay, ugali is made from flour. You can also serve it with. Um, I see some people. Eat it with rice? No, I would not eat it with rice. It's best served. It tastes very good with ugali. I think it goes best with ugali. And your color green is ready. So leave it green. You don't want it to be to, to be brown. Let it just um, cook for only two minutes, and it's, it's and our food is ready. Okay. So, and this is our, remember this is our beef, it's ready. Oh, oh my God, the smell. Mm, mm, mm. Now I'll, I'll, I'll uh, turn everything off because this is ready as well. And I'll go back to sleep. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, three, it's four, it's four o'clock. It's four in the morning. I woke up to pray at three o'clock like I do every day. Then I could not get some sleep, so I decided to not just sit on uh, in bed, but be useful. So I made this, so my wife will come home to a nice meal. She's working. Uh, uh, she's working. Um, so she'll come home to a very, very, very nice meal. I think she will love it. All right. Enjoy your day, guys. Love you.